Sega. Sega. Best played with a gamepad. Hey there! Ulti Zeta here, and welcome to 2021! Welcome to this very grand title screen for Sonic Lost World, but with a little something extra you might notice, and I'll get to that in a moment. For now, oh my god, I need to turn this game's volume down. And I'll do that as soon as this cutscene happens, because... Openings are neat. And it's Sonic. Fighting these weird dudes. I wonder who they are. I'm sure they were well received, weren't they? Look at how slick and cool Sonic is. Alright. Uh, hold on one second. I'm gonna pause a moment momentarily. Okay. No, that's a little bit loud. Okay. I just need my ears to be safe. You guys will be fine because I can edit it and fix it, but my ears... Yeah. Anyways. Welcome to Sonic Lost World. Um, I'll talk about the probably noticeable elephant in the room pretty quickly. Um, but for now, I want to get into the fact that I'm doing a new Let's Play. Um, I had started recording something around January-ish, because uh, not immediately after Mega Man X, but at some point, I was recording, I've been recording something, and it's still a Let's Play that's going to happen, but the original Let's Play number 91 has been slow goings, and it's going to continue being slow goings because of how I'm doing it. It'll be fun, it'll be worth it, don't worry, but I did want something in the meantime to satiate the fact that I haven't uploaded again in about three months, other than Smash Ultimate video montage things, which are pretty fun, and you should watch them if you want. But, yeah, so I was thinking, oh, what would be something that is, um, that I can go ahead and record and just get done and bang out? And then I've been in a very Sonic mood lately. So I figure, why not? It's the next mainline Sonic game in the overall lineup after I did Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2. This one actually takes place after Episode 2, so that's pretty cool. Like, chronologically. Episode 2 is 2012. This game was 2013. 2013! God. I'll get into it when I get to the first stage, but... For now, let's start up a new game, because I am playing this on Steam, not the original Wii U release, which I do own and played way back in 2013. Drop the critters, Eggman. So, Eggman drops his critters. Eggman has a gun! And then they died. basically what that is. It's basically what it looks like. And here we are, in Windy Hill Zone. So, elephant in the room! I'm not Sonic! Uh, I wanted to enjoy this. Basically, that's as simple as it is. Ugh. Apparently I make this noise every time I move? Is that the thing I can fix? It's 
slightly better now. Okay, so, I wanted to enjoy this game. I don't like this game, but I do like Metal Sonic, and there is an awesome modder out there called, I believe, Joe TH. If you search up Metal Sonic Lost World, you get it. So basically, I just wanted to play as my favorite Sonic character, so that I didn't hate this game. Because I'm not the biggest fan of Sonic Lost World. It is not my favorite. I need to figure out how this game works again, but... Ultimately... Sonic Lost World is a very non-Sonic-y game. It's... Kind of an issue, really, if you ask me. I don't really even know what to talk about, it's just... Okay. The game does not run super great, it seems. Okay. I'm trying to figure out... Okay, that's the run button. The run trigger. Alright. So yeah, in this game, there's a run trigger. You have to hold it in order to move faster. It allows for more precision. You can hear it every time Metal Sonic goes... Bruh. Also, there are wisps that I can float on. Okay. How do the wisps work in this game? Aim Sonic and fire him with a jump. So wisps are back from Sonic Colors. They're pointless and apparently lag the game. I'm probably gonna need to do something about that. But... For now, we're just going through this stage. I have not played Sonic Lost World properly in a very long time. In fact, funnily enough, Sonic Lost World was the Sonic game that kind of reacclimated me to Sonic. I don't know what the purpose of that was, but Metal Sonic looks very beautiful performing this pose on this tree. <laughs> Anyways. Um... Way back in 2013 was when I did my Sonic uh, Classic Collection tri Genesis Trilogy playthrough. And pretty much immediately after that was when Sonic Lost World existed. And came out. So, Sonic Lost World was how I got back into Sonic, funnily enough. Like, I... I've generally told sort of my experience with Sonic on this channel, because a lot of it has been because of this channel that I experienced Sonic games. But what kinda got me back into it was Sonic Lost World. Specifically, to get this out of the way before, like, my mind just melts entirely while trying to play this game at the same time. The timeline is... Um... I... I grow up... Learn... Watching Sonic cartoons on VHS and playing Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Heroes. I drop off of Sonic, stop playing him, he comes out in Smash and that's cool and all whole bunch of music that I don't recognize in the slightest. Um, Chugga Conroy does a playthrough of Sonic Colors on his channel in approximately 2011, 2012-ish. And I watch that, and it's cool and neat. I get Sonic Generations on the 3DS, think it's just kind of bland and okay and whatever. And then I start, I do my Let's Play of the Genesis Trilogy and CD and whatnot. Then I play Sonic Lost World. 
because it was the new Sonic game, it just came out, and I was looking forward to getting back into Sonic. And to that extent, it did kind of work, because after that, I did Sonic Adventure. I went and played Sonic Adventure 2 again, and Heroes, and 06, and Unleashed, and Colors, and then Shadow the Hedgehog, and then Generations, and Forces and Mania, when those came out, I've been playing Sonic games. But it might not have happened if not for me getting back into it, so I do have to thank Sonic Lost World for that. But that's the only thing I'm going to be thanking for Sonic Lost World. Because Sonic Lost World is Sonic there. Lost World. Oh, stay calm, little guy. Sonic and Tails will get your buddies back. Sonic, no, no, did you get those animals back from Eggman? Uh, just the one container he tossed off his Eggmobile. What? Wait a minute, just the one? <laughs> Weak. I would have gotten them all back by now. Save the rest of them. Oh, Let me go. I hate to think on, what Eggman's guys. doing to those poor things. I'm on it! So... Sonic doesn't exist in this game, by the way. <laughs> okay. So, we have this awkward world map. I forgot about that. Yes, that's right. Alright. I want to see if I can help the game run a bit better, so... Don't really know what DOF is gonna be. I, I think that's Death of Field, but I don't know what that's going to change. I can give it a shot. I'm also gonna close out of a thing real quick. I don't need that to be open. Okay. Sorry about that. Like, Recording stuff on PC can be a bit weird sometimes, especially since I'm not used to it. There's a lot for me to talk about with Sonic Lost World. I keep coming up with new topics. I conquered you, didn't I? And with your help, I'll not only rule the world, I'll finally destroy that blue nuisance, Sonic! Eggman wants the little hedgehog destroyed. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like destroying something! That's what I like about you, Zaz. Always ready for a fight. Even before you know what you're fighting. <laughs> you bet! Bring it on and I'll rip it up! <laughs> Win or lose, I'll something about our enemy. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, what to talk about about Sonic Boss World? Well, I think the obvious thing, the, the most the most inherently obvious thing, gameplay-wise, is how vastly different this is from pretty much any other Sonic game. It's not momentum-based at all, so as a 2D platformer like this, it's just kind of... ...weird? Apparently if you hold the run button, there's a little animation. Well, not moving. That's pretty neat. I, I, I'm, I'm more amused by that than I should be. All right. So we get a double jump, still from Colors. In a, in a way, this is a very big sequel to Colors, but not like a sequel to the part of Colors that people would really want a sequel to. It's a sequel to Sonic Colors 2D Sections, I think is the most appropriate way of describing this game. Spe Even the 3D levels of this game are very much not designed like the 3D levels of anything else. They're all very linear and very...
I don't know what I'm doing. I died. Cool. Thanks, Asteroid Wisp. You're really helpful. I held the jump button and you didn't go up, and instead you just drifted slowly down until I died and have to restart the entire level. Cool. I'm a big fan of you, Asteroid Wisp. I'm never using you again. Facts. So anyways, there's a parkour system where you can like walk on the walls, that's new, most people know about it already. There's this weird homing attack thing where like you can target multiple things at once. In fact, there's also another kind of homing attack where you like, you can kick, like, like so. In a way, it's a very much more platform or he platform heavy style of Sonic game. But the thing is, it doesn't really ever feel like a Sonic game to me. I remember enjoying it enough back when I played it, but this was again at a time when I didn't really know what Sonic was like. It was arguably the first 3D Sonic game I had played in forever. So not having that formal like, knowledge or experience did kind of make it very weird to look back on because as 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 the years have gone on I've kind of understood that the game does not feel like it should if you if you ask me Um... You were lucky this time. So, also, apparently you can't kick that guy, you have to specifically homing attack him. Which is weird. But whatever. I'll get to him later. There is a lot to discuss right now. Um... Sonic Lost World is just such a very weird game. It really, really is weird. It tries to go for this very heavily classic style formula of everything. You can see that with like, just the general enemy designs. Everything's kind of like cuter and squishier. And there's like all the bunnies and like it it's specifically using like all these classic designs and motifs and bunnies to badniks instant army when like aside from sonic generations like the whole badnik thing like they kind of got phased out in the modern in the modern series for the egg pawns So like, it is just, it's a weird divergence to try and be like, hey, look, we can go back to the classic stuff that everybody likes. And it just kind of creates this really weird mixture of aesthetic and like, departure from what, like, people cared about from Sonic for the modern games. You'll also notice, oh, that's some green sludge. Ow. Well, I died. Thanks, Green Sludge. You're my best friend. Um... It is this weird mixed a aesthetic. And, like, it's not the worst thing in the world, it's just such a weird decision after, like, the success of games like Generations. And... Color. It's just another step in... A sort of, like... Misunderstanding what fans wanted in Sonic, I would say. They see something like Generations do well, actually, and 
it seemed like they were like, oh, fans want nostalgia and classic Sonic stuff. But since I didn't want to immediately bring back classic Sonic yet, uh, they decided to go with his, in his general aesthetic instead. Which I feel like is just them misunderstanding, like, why people thought it was cool that it came back in the first place. I don't know. There's a lot to discuss. There's a lot of speculation as well, so, like, I probably shouldn't... get too speculation heavy and stuff. Also, whenever I can, I'm going to avoid trying to do parkour stuff on the... above instant death, because I don't really want to risk that. I'm not... I'm not very experienced in, par in the parkour stuff, is the thing. Also, one thing I should probably just clarify, the mod I'm using is literally just a skin mod. It changes nothing about the levels or anything, it makes Sonic into Metal Sonic. That's it. That's all it does. So, do not assume that anything is different about the game because of the mod I'm using. If anything, it might be causing some of the slight slowdown and delay, but I kinda doubt it because, like, again, all I've done is change Sonic into Metal Sonic. So, my assumption would be that the game will still fu function about, you know, as you would expect. I wonder if I can... How many crystals are here? We can get a lot of rings. I f think we want rings? I'm not sure. Nothing else I can definitely get another extra life by just doing this. There's no timer, so it doesn't exactly matter. The ranking system is gone unless you're playing time trial mode. Alright. So... Yeah, Metal S Metal Sonic. Sonic Lost World is weird, and I'm going to be talking about this a whole lot through this Let's Play. Level design is weird, stage design is weird. I think the big key thing here, ultimately, is that, is what they were trying to go for. And I think the clear thing that they were trying to go for is that they weren't making this game for Sonic fans. If, that's my pre estimation, prediction, theory, whatever. Hey, I've been looking for you, Baldy McNose hair. Who are your oh, friends? That, that I have friends. to actually He's suffer they are the Deadly Six, and they are your worst enemies. Zaz, show this blue pest how you do things up here. <sighs> With pleasure, I'll be itching for a fight all day. <laughs> I think you're itching because you need a bath. Huh? Are you disrespecting me? Maybe. <sighs> I'm gonna mess you up! I'd love to stay and watch him disassemble you, but I have business to attend to. <laughs> I know the perfect spot to take care of you. That's funny, because I know the perfect spot to kick you! Writing. Ugh, yeah. I'll get to that. But, first, the next topic. This game was a Wii U exclusive for, like, three years. And then they ported it to Steam, and not Unleashed for some reason. Never Unleashed. Unleashed never saw the light of day again. There are evil sheep. Interesting. Um, this game, I made a joke about how, oh, Mario Galaxy, because, like, look at this. This is very Mario Galaxy reminiscent. But let's be real. Like, this spacey, tube-like structure is, it feels just like Gusty Garden Galaxy and a lot of other general Mario Galaxy motifs. You'll see... Throughout the rest of this, it's not just that general aesthetic, that the general aesthetic of like 
the level design and whatnot. Okay, apparently I don't understand how the build up speed with the That does not feel fast at all. Oh. That still wasn't fast. Is it because I'm not holding the I, I don't understand. Whatever. I don't understand a lot about this game works. It's actually surprisingly complicated. But anyways, this game was a Wii U exclusive. I think the main reason why this game feels the way it does is because they were not trying to make a Sonic game. They were trying to make a Sonic-esque game that is, in reality, much more of a Mario game because it was a Nintendo exclusive game. So they wanted to appeal to Mario fans. So they made a Sonic game that had more of a Mario aesthetic. And... Honestly, I can understand that kind of sentiment. Like, I don't necessarily agree with it. I feel like you would want to make... If you're, if you're trying to attract people to your games, you would want to make a game that, you know, gets the point across of your game more than... more than trying to emulate something else. But I understand the general sentiment of, like... Trying to, trying to capture potential fans. By doing this sort of style, like, I don't know. It's weird. But I get it. I, I get it. But it does leave the Sonic Lost World feeling very, very awkward. If you ask me. Because it... As a result of that, it feels very generic. The world themes in this game are some of the most basic video game -y stuff you would ever see. Because... Oh, I'm bouncing. Nope, I'm not using that thing. I want to see if there's something up here. Okay, I batted it, so moving on. So, like, the whole Mario aesthetic, it comes mostly in the level themes, the general design of these worlds. Like, it's very blocky, basically. And I don't think... I don't think that necessarily makes sense for a Sonic game. And they try to make it work, and I... I don't think it's necessarily that the game itself doesn't work. But... It's just that it feels awkward, especially if you try and compare it to other Sonic games. It's not unplayable, it's not unfinished, it's not garbage. But to me, as a Sonic game, it's just disappointing. And so I don't particularly care for it. Like, I would not say that I get anything from this game that I get better than a Mario game. But if I look at a Mario game, then if I look at other more Sonic-y games, then I feel like, oh yeah, this is something unique. I can only get it with Sonic. This is not one of those cases, and so as a result, it feels less interesting to me. I feel like I have less of a reason to come back to this game. You're going home in a box! And now I suppose it's finally time to talk about this idiot. The Deadly Six are the gimmick of this game, if you want to call them that. They're characters that I will very generously give the term character to. Now, 
really, they're just an excuse for boss fights and designs that are, like, these weird designs. They're called Zeddy. They're, it's a species that does not make any sense whatsoever. We never really learn about them. They're all weird and wacky and different, and they are the most stereotypical things in the world. I'll talk about them when I get to the writing elements that I'm going to need to discuss when I discuss this game further. But oh my god, I do not like the writing. You thought I complained a lot in colors? Oh my god. I built a TV out of paper clips. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I know. So look. Fixing a propeller on a biplane? That's about as difficult as taking a nap. Okay, I didn't need your whole life story. A simple good to go would have been cool. All right. Good to go! Cool! Oh, uh, it's gonna be painful. It's going to be painful. <sighs> but we finished the first world. We finished the first Sonic Lost World. And so, with that, the game is running better when I turn off the DOF, so that's cool. Um, yes. So, with that in mind, um, I don't know if I actually finished all my thoughts this, from this episode. But I will have plenty of more thoughts in the in the next episode. So, with that, I've been Ulti Zeta. I'll see you in the next episode for more Let's Play Metal Sonic Lost World. This is gonna be a thing. And trust me, if you didn't think that that seemed so bad, that was the wor that was the first world. That's all I'm going to say. That was just the first world. There's still a lot more game to go. Ugh.